And welcome back. This is Kotel. We got another War Rights event. It is Alrighty, Kotel. House Are you ready? Campaign. Ready for this? And wait a second. Looks like I was about to start my intro. And wait a second. I got a guest. It is Mr. Lightburn from West Virginia. Hello, good sir. How are you doing? Not too bad, not too bad. So we are live on the start here, so we'll kind of go over leaders as we go here, but uh, just want to give the, uh, you know, quick introduction of yourself in the Fort West Virginia. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm Lightburn, uh, Colonel in the 4th West Virginia, um, the overall commanding CO, uh, Lion Infantry Skirmishing, uh, very soon Artillery, and yeah. We've been coming to HDC now for what, what would you say, Code about four months? Yeah, yeah, since a little bit after the new year, so yeah. Been a, uh, been a uh, lot of people trying to draft you to this side. Yep, that is correct. But uh, today, let's see, we'd, so again, it's a House Divided campaign. This is map one. It is Nico Hill. 149, 146 on the defending CSA, 129 on the attacking Union, so a little bit of an imbalance. Um, but we'll see if that gets corrected as we go along. Now on the big board, it is the um, 10th Tennessee in western Tennessee fighting, uh, attacking MWB uh, right along the Mississippi River uh, in uh, western Tennessee. And if we see, we I got some arty shots already coming in here. And we'll just kind of, as it's starting to kind of get in line, we'll just go down the list of the units that I see here. So for the Union, looks like we got IVB under Mustang and Jeff Knight. We've got Colonel Knight, uh, leading 10th Tennessee, it's his token. And we got Sergeant uh, Guy leading the 4th West Virginia. What can you tell us about Sergeant Guy? Um, so Guy's been in the 4th West Virginia since pretty much we started attending events in January. Um, He's new, um, but he's been doing a really good job. Um, yeah, you know, he used to be a corporal, but see now he's he's a sergeant. He he's been doing pretty good. Um, he's been pubbing, you know, officer pubs, and uh, he's been leading the regiment every week now, at least one map, because uh, we try to I try to offer up officer slots for at least one map uh, each event. So, but today you'll get to see two different guys oh, leading. Um, Guy has the most experience so far in the regiment leading. Um, then you'll get to see uh, Bert today, Corporal Bert, on uh, downtown. Nice, nice. So, get some junior leaders up there, get the chance to lead the line a little bit. We made it. Yep, give give your people the opportunity to grow. You know, don't just keep them stagnant. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's how you keep regiments healthy. It's not all on one person. Now, it looks like the Union has split up the attack into two prongs. One on the left side, one on the right side. The right side has made it to the barn here, but I'm going to swing over to the Union left here. It looks like we got an attack developing. HL leading the way here against multiple units. Let's see if they can hold them. Um, we'll see what happens here. Um, I'm not... Opposed to the idea. Oh, we got shots now. We got shots now. We got shots now. But it looks like uh, that move was to attempt to draw as many CSA units to the left side of by the barn, uh, CSA left. But it looks like they weren't able to drag as many off as they thought they would. I love you all so much. No, it, I think um, it's a little bit short here, and in fact, the 123rd is not even really engaged yet here. And you also have the 83rd yeah, as no. another reserve unit, so... Yeah, this attack is going to stall out here for the Union, and they just lost their flag. I was about to say that flag's got to get out. But we got oh, some people rescued. Yeah, flag I saw a private out. town. One of your guys just went down trying to trying to get the flag out. Yep. Fuck yep. You. Well, Union was able to get one flag out, so... But they got one in the dirt. Swing over to the other side of the field here. Looks like as that gets reset. Looks like we got NYV under Parker guarding uh, the uh, Artie there. I think this is a good opportunity to take a look at the uh, other leaders. So also on the Union, we got HL under Praetorian. PB is led by Legion. 
Let's see who else we got. We got HD led by Coach Shadows. And it looks like we got HD four on Battery Campbell and Cal from the uh, IVB is on Battery Reynolds. And then on the uh, CSA team, Marty, looks like they got Markham from the 4th US. Then Madison from the 42nd on guns. Go. Dancing from the 123rd. Oh, we got another major movement here. I'll stop with the intro while we get this. Looks like we got a flanking maneuver here by the 42nd. Gonna try to get behind the IVB here. Ooh, just hit him with a pretty hard volley right there. Yeah, I don't think this position now is going to be uh, sustainable here for uh, right IVB. No, and we are on the 10-second uh, uh, respawn rate on this uh, on this particular event, so it's a lot harder to maintain your formations in these enclaves than it would be with five seconds. Came through the barn. I don't think it can. I think. Well, they're kind of trapped here. Let's see if I catch them. So we got also 19th Indiana under Racer. Captain Hood leading the 42nd PA. Ninth Corps is under Squid. MWB under Major Velkine. And 20th New York is under CJ. And Rick's under 79th. I believe that is everybody. But yeah, they don't let me, uh, they don't do like the 43 minute where I can actually do my intro and identify all the units here. It's live right away. Yeah, they don't give you a chance. It's like, I can't tell who where, I can't tell everybody who's leading in there. But no, it's, I mean, it's a different kind of event, you know, very, very competitive. Oh, Parker's charging in here. Boo, 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 I'm gonna butt you. Yep, it looks like, uh, looks like 40 seconds gonna hit him from the other side. So IVB's about to get wiped here. A nice friendly, pin friendly, friendly, here. Watch my, watch my, watch my. Oh, friendly, that's a friendly, friendly. Biggest thing right now is this flag's gotta get out. Billy's gotta get out of there. And he's not able to. Uh, he's he's finished now. I guess the question is, where's that next attack coming from? It looks like another assault on the woods here. I think Fourth West yeah, Virginia we'll will over. be part of it. Well, we we gotta expect the same thing to happen here once more. Um, I would think if you want to take the stone wall now, you're gonna want to probably get your team together i mean they were able to drag out 42nd and 6th new york over there on the left but uh you really need to hit this with your full force right now while they're not at full strength yeah it looks like some very disciplined fire from the csa time they waited until they got to clear shots before engaging yeah and you just watched the entire union line just melt yeah, barely even got to the wall yeah, I don't even think they touched a single CSA. Uh, yeah, I think CSA took very, very minimal losses there. And looking at the morale state, uh, 36 minutes here. Union about a fifth of the way down, maybe a quarter. CSA, a little bit over half on morale. That is not bad. Yeah, I mean, I figured it would be... Figured Union would be down to engage by now with all these charges on the stone wall, but... You know, tickets are not that great for CSA here. Um, so, I mean, charging the stone wall is not a bad idea. I just think they need to get their entire team over before 6 New York and 42nd can get back. Yeah, and really, I think the stone wall tickets really come in play once you get into the melee. If you don't manage to get, like, at least one or two units into a melee, you're not really going to have too much ticket bleed. Now, the one key factor here, though, that would make this a lot easier for the Union to take this wall is if the uh, Union artillery would start hitting that wall. I saw a couple shots, but not as much as I was expecting. Yeah, that wall is generally intact. Now, I've yeah, seen at this can't point... Waste your time. And, yeah, I've seen in this game at this point, like, huge holes in it. Yeah, you can't you can't waste your time counter battering on this on this map. You got to go for the spot that they want to hold and take that away from them. Hey, kind of force them to do something different. Because as long as they occupy that stone wall, that's a strong position. And really, if you want to deal damage as a union, your already has to be on point this map. 
Yeah, I agree. I think they're kind of misusing the already a little bit. I also, I'm, I'm not a big fan of fighting from these fences on the road on this far right side. I think it's a bit of a, you know, a waste time and b it's a bit of an already uh, sink. Yeah, um, I usually don't like to halt on that on that fence at all. Gives time for the CSA to redeploy forces. And in fact, now that I'm looking over here. Yeah, they, here comes 42nd coming down here. It said to reinforce the 6th New York. Yeah, I expect uh, I expect Hood maybe if he would get out in the, in the road, he could really stall him. It looks like Union's gonna wait most of their force on this right side right now. I think they gave up on the uh, Stonewall. I don't think the whole team's going right. Yeah, Hood's kind of lined up on him, but uh, Union's got weight. I, I mean, if anything, I'd say charge him out now, I would think. Yeah, try I to would, get him into I'm a melee. Trying to claim White. casualties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too, they, get... they made some ground up, uh, knocking out right, six New York. Yeah, the uh, thing that I'm probably going to point out the obvious here, they need to really turn and focus on 42nd now. Because a lot of guys aren't turning and engaging 42nd. They're just taking independent fire right now. And Hood's claiming a lot of tickets right here. His guns have turned on him as well. You're already... Yeah, you really got to hit him and go. Uh, you can't afford to stand there in this kill box that you're in right now between Artie and infantry. I mean, that's just my take on it. That's what I would be doing if I was in this situation. Yeah. I'd be trying to deal with Hood. I would, I would At least get... say you have a way out. Maybe if the enemy's going to let you, you know, defeat him in detail. You know. Yeah, Hood pulled his force up on this fence and really hasn't taken any fire yet. It just take an um, already shot, I call it. But... Ooh, yeah. They are taking some already hits, and Hood's going to have to back up now. So they're going to, I suggest, or I guess they're going to leave the uh, cab back on the stone wall. And uh, they're going to send most of their forces over to... Uh, Deal with this full union push on the uh, CSA left. Man, it looks retreat, like IVB retreat, retreat, is coming up trying to charge. I mean, I don't hate the decision right now. The only thing is, you're running them right back into 19th. Well, the, the other thing I don't like about it, particularly, is it's just one unit. Like, if this was yeah, a full a union charge, you could, you could have made this a massive melee right now, and you might have lost it. But I, I would argue, you know, you, the way you win this map is getting into melees. I think I don't know if you would disagree with that, but oh no, you. A lot of people, I've seen it way too many times where Union wants to sit on the left side of the barn and try to volley the uh, stone wall. It, you, it's not a shooting match on this map. You got to get in their face. Yeah, you've got way too many uh, Union units just uh, using this barn for cover right now instead of fighting out. So they would all mass together right now and at least try to charge out 19th and uh, try and take this hill here. They'd have a chance. But, you know, you got to... Union kind of traps themselves in this, this corner all the time. Yeah, you and can Madison see he already coming in. Yep, it. he's having some yep. fun. All right, you got to you got to maneuver over here by Hood. He's making sure that they can't retreat. He's cutting off their retreat. I really think that's a good idea. I like that that move. Oh yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Oh yeah, and he's gonna catch some. He might be able to catch some of these out of lines as they try to run into it. Looks like he's going to come over here with yeah, his pistol, look his pistol and clean up. Five tickets, ten tickets. There were 15. Somebody oh, else but he got dropped. shot, so there's five going for him. Private Joe from 10th Tennessee, the only one to make it through that orchard. Uh, does he, though? Let's, he see. Get let's, let's see if he makes it. He might get tired. Oh, Private Joe made it. Man, that 
that puck ball is a beast. At what events does uh, Fourth West Virginia currently uh, uh, participate in? Oh, keep it high. Aren't you off? Um, at the oh. current moment, Fourth West Virginia will be attending the Southern Aggression on Fridays. Uh, this event right here, House Divided on Saturdays. We attend War of Secession, which is the new Sunday event for NA. Uh, every every other Sunday right now at 8 p.m. And Guts and Glory, which is a newer event, started at the beginning of the year. Uh, Mondays also at 8 um, p.m. EST. Oh, so you got so you got four NA events available Friday through Monday. Yep, um, we're currently trying to. We have a few EU guys uh, in the regiment. Uh, eventually, we would like to organize a European side, a EU side of the uh, fourth. So we're just trying to grow in our numbers. Oh yeah, and I definitely see you guys. It's been steady growth. This, you know, I know it's been uh, not quick, but it's been steady, which is usually more healthy. Yeah, um, definitely over the over the past few months, because we've only been a regiment since November of uh, last year. So we're only about what seven months old. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it's about that. Yep. We have a little maneuver here by ten Tennessee. We'll see what Knight can do. Oh, he's rushing to the top. He might be dragging. He might be dragging Hood off with him. No, that's nineteenth. Uh, racer. Racer's gonna claim some battle lines here, though. Yeah, he's gonna catch some of those IBB leftovers there. Okay, now we have another reaction here. And it's 42nd. They're gonna rush up to the top to try to stop Hood. Or, uh, Knight. I think, I think Knight scores got him, though, to be honest with you. Knight's core in 83rd here, I think, can handle it. Yeah, I don't necessarily think that Hood really needed to uh, no, leave that force. I mean, at, mo at most, 19th Indiana, too, but Hood is, is way overkill for this. Oh, 19th doing a nice attack right here. I didn't even see them coming up. They came up behind him. Yeah, that's all you needed. 19th and 9th together. And it looks like Knight has been wiped out. So I guess now the question is, do we see, this is the perfect opportunity, I would say, for the Union to attack now and, and try to yeah, wipe I, out the NYB. Would... She was like, oh my gosh, you played Berlin. Yeah, I, I like, mean, yeah, you've got one Berlin regiment Berlin you're Berlin facing Berlin right Berlin now, Berlin. and uh, Parker's no slouch. Well, he's got you got to take care well, of him but, but still, this is, not, this is not a lot of force in front of you. Yeah, now with the manpower the Union has right now around this barn, they could easily overwhelm both of those regiments and uh, wipe them off the field. We're at 26, I, mean, I really don't want to yeah. turn it. I mean, they've turned this into pretty much trapping the Union in the corner, and uh, this definitely favors the CSA at this point. Yeah, is there anything you would uh, change with the way the CSA is playing at the moment, or would you kind of say they've got it on lock? I would say they're doing what they need to do. They're mutually supporting each other. Um, they're meeting the Union wherever they can... Uh, wherever they're trying to move and attack. I mean, I think they're executing things perfectly right now, which is, you know, something that we, something that, you know, when you see it, you're like, okay, these guys have their plan. You know, they know what they're doing. All these units are veterans. So, you know, every one of them knows what they're doing. Here comes IVB. They're going to try to charge forward here. But here comes Hood. Hood's going to try that same same, get some yeah, shots took, took into the sides of the Union again. Took a little bit too long to pull it off. And, it, yeah, and it's Union, not with enough get off ass this either. Yeah, the Union needs to get off this barn right now. They they need to collectively get together and make a, a team push here. You have your whole team just crowded around this barn right now. Basically, you're trapped, and you're just feeding tickets to Mattis right now. Uh, they're coming around. Really use, really get aggressive on this map. The CSA's ticket advantage is very low on this map. Yeah, here's what you want, I would say. Get, get force of melee. 
Yeah, this melee right here that's happening is going to favor the Union in the long run. We got HD coming in now. Uh, coming in on the flank, they might be able to clean this up. I think they will be able to. And we can see the tickets. Look what's happened to the tickets. Yeah, I mean, th th like I said, this is going to favor the Union in the long run. Now, now right that now the, the Union uh, has to find a way. Yeah, I was going to say, now that the Union has accomplished this task, what, what would you have them do now? What would you advise them to do next? Well, I would not advise them to do what they're trying to do right now and go harass Artie. I would try to draw the CSA back out again by maybe go and play with the cap a little bit. You know, act like you're going to early cap. Don't necessarily try to take on that stone wall. Again, if they want to sit somewhere and nestle somewhere, I'm big on letting them just stay there. Just formulate a plan around it to just... Because eventually boredom's going to get them and they're going to come out. And that'll offer you an opportunity or an opening to take that stone wall. So do what they're doing right now. Try to draw the CSA back out. I mean, if you can start harassing the RD a little bit, they're going to cry out for help. So you're going to draw them out relatively quickly. I mean, in fact, you can already see that happening. Um, they're coming from the main back across the field again. Um, looks like 42nd may be leading the way here. They're going to halt here and try a volley. Ooh, that Union already. Yeah, I saw it splash in. So now I would say that this fight here is going to favor the CSA. Um, Union's too clumped out, but if you look at uh, CSA, they're spread out. So they're going to be able to have multiple angles of fire right now on this uh, big massive blob that the Union has going on here. Yeah, it's a little bit disorganized. I can't really, there's no real unit formations, unit cohesion. It's all just kind of like a mass. Yeah, I mean, use the rocks for cover. I mean, you're under the artillery right now, so it's not really going to affect you too bad. You basically rendered the arty useless right now being underneath the guns like this. So now it's just an infantry on infantry fight. But, uh, oh, we got a maneuver here from Parker. He's going to get some nice shots in the side here. Found a good angle. See, yeah, there's one thing. Uh, a lot of did not don't know about me um my first regiment in the regimental community was uh serving under parker really was it yep what unit was that with uh six new york it was six. Oh, wow huh. so parker parker's been playing this game about as long as i have Fact, I think we might have been playing the game the same amount of time, so they definitely are a strong unit. Oh yeah, six New York. I mean, I see them a lot more on the, on the again, EU again. side than the NA side, but it seems like they've been making more inroads on the NA side recently. In the past three, four months. Here comes Parker, though. He might try to charge, and if he can coordinate here with uh, 42nd. Uh, we also twentieth coming uh, in now. I can say we have another move across the field here. Oh yeah, is this Indiana. Uh, HL? No, this is nineteenth oh, Indiana coming in. Might be able to come in right behind them. They could time this right. This might be pretty effective here. Oh, Again, CSA this... doing what they need to do. Yeah, HD needs to intercept this. I would say needs to intercept nineteenth Indiana. Ah. Uh, Man, it looks like they're going to go right by him. Yep. Eve Racer, you're back. That's not good. Yep, Halo. Halo's really needed to turn right there. Again, that was just situational awareness. And here comes the mass charge from CSA to wipe the Union out. That'll be good, but the Union is at taking... I mean, the CSA is at taking losses here at 20. It doesn't really have much of a ticket advantage anymore. Yeah, um, again, 
back to what I said uh, earlier whenever uh, the Union got in there and were able to wipe out Parker and then they were able to turn on uh, Hood, you know. That's going to favor the Union in the long run. Because the CSA is already at such a disadvantage on tickets for this first map um, oh, for yeah. Nico that you have to force it. You, you have to get in their face. And right now, I think the aggressiveness of the CSA really can uh, is really helping the Union right now. Maybe that might be the plan. Maybe that's why the Union's stalling in certain spots of the map, trying to get the CSA to come to them. And if that's the plan, it seems to be working right now. Yeah, I think you might be right. It's 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 definitely turning now. I still think it I was. I, just, I, I think it was. They got out of the, the habit of just staying behind the barn. Once you in, pushed up and forced the engagement, that's what I that really turned it. I think. Yeah. Once once they started forcing the melees, started forcing the CSA to get in melees. Uh, it really turned it around for them. These couple Union guys over here are going to... A couple of 79th and SR guys are going to cause amount of line casualties. There's five there. Looks like Union's going to cap here. We got Mustang has positioned the IPB right on the point. I'm, I would caution against an early cap right now. I, I definitely wouldn't do that I, I, at I, this point in time. I think I agree. Why, why wouldn't you early cap? It might be too late. I mean, I mean, you have a slight ticket advantage, so it's not like they're going to get a lot of tickets back right now. But I think maybe it might be a good thing. I mean, I'm just always cautious about an early cap. And the way that we've seen the CSA counterattack today, I would be hesitant of it right now. Um, watch your left. The way they've been mutually supporting. So they should be able to take it back if it's just IVB on point and HD right now. And they're spread out. There's not even any cohesion here. Yeah, I... I mean, yeah, you're not giving many tickets back, but you're still giving them some tickets back and you're extending the time that they have. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is extending the timer. But, I mean, it wasn't a huge... I mean, my, my counter-argument would, be, would be you had 18 minutes... You were doing fine on casualties. Just do another big attack like you were doing. You know. You, now but, this could come back and be favorable. You know. Yeah, I don't think. But the right union, now the union needs their mass. Yeah, the CSA I don't think has enough slits to get them down to last stand here in five minutes. So. If I'm the Union right now, I'm going to try and mass in the center. Uh, I'm trying to mass on point, really. Get him, boss. Would you be concerned at all about the Artie? Or... That's a concern, but you can't allow that to uh, dictate the way that you play the map if you're trying to win. And it looks like uh, here comes the CSA. We got an absolute two-pronged attack again here. Yeah, but now we got an attack on like the uh, on the opposite side, though, here. Ten Tennessee. I didn't even see that. Has got the Union, the like CSA, a little out of position here. Oh, they're going to deploy the same strats CSA's been doing to them the entire game. They're going to do a two-pronged attack here on the stone wall. This might finish the CSA. I, I think this, once the second prong comes in, I think the CSA's finished over here. Union might be claiming this wall within the next, I'd say, minute. Yeah. They got 83rd and 9th Corps, but I don't think that's enough. You got HL, yeah, and, uh, HL and PB. Well, well, Corps. Cool. Oh, here comes 42nd and 19th, though. Yeah, but it's it's a mass fight now. That's that's the key. These tickets are going to just collapse on you. Again, this is going to favor the Union in the long run. This I agree with. I think that was masterfully executed, at least by the Union. Uh, and, and I, you know, I think that might have been the whole point of the cap was maybe it was to try to set him a little bit. Okay, well, maybe now if we go back to it, maybe, maybe I did agree with the early cap there after seeing that. That was kind of a setup for the for the plan that they had. So. Yeah. Now, see, you know, CSA held it, but they are um, evened up on tickets. I would say. 
slight union advantage right now, but not much. I mean, it's a close fight. I think that's the closest Nico I've seen in a while. Yeah, I would say CSA needs to recap right now. I, I, I don't know why NYV's pulling back and 123 is pulling back. I would, I, would, I would recap right now. Yeah, I mean, you just wipe the union. You have a clear shot right now at, at recap. Right now, you're just giving them extra time. There's, there's no benefit to it. Die! 79 is about sure. to get cut out here for a couple tickets. There's five. There's ten. I, I don't know why CSA is not recapping. That, it, this, this is, they're not going to get them down to last stand. Yeah, you got three. Okay, they're coming back in to recap now. Uh, 123rd is coming in. I'm dancing, just halt on the wall and just support, support the attack recap. Oh, 19th Indiana charged out. I do not agree with that. Yeah, 19th Indiana should have definitely should have stayed. Yeah, there's a lot of old tickets you cannot afford to be giving up right now. Yeah, you're just feeding them tickets now. A couple of ninth core guys out of position as well. with you right now if I was a union I, I... well I'm let me ask you what, 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 line what, yeah, what would you line. do now well, now both teams are breaking at 18 minutes what would you advise turn this to line do? yeah turn this line and beeline over that fence straight to point try to make it a fight on point you wouldn't try to get so down to last stand you. well you could definitely go in there and do that with a charge on point maybe drag them down act like you're gonna go cap Try to get him out into the open. Yep, get him off that corner. Bring him out. Looks like we have a, a small force here, uh, IVB and, and some tenth guys. But Hood is guarding point right now. Hood shifted down. He's gonna be able to take out Jeff Knight here and uh, Knight themselves. But here comes the rest of Union. Okay, now this is what I was talking about. Make it a fight on point. Oh, Union, uh, I don't know. They, they don't have enough slits here, as you like to say. Yep, and I am misusing that term, but it's a term my old first sergeant used to use all the time. Oh, I don't know. I think CSA might be... I think CSA might win this. I think they'll win this initial engagement. I, I, I always get nervous about this, and it's a little bit cheap now because it's over, but um, you lose cohesion, and you get these guys wandering in. And it just it just becomes a huge ticket drain for the Union. Like, you see these last couple guys coming in? Like, actually, oh, shoot, yeah, like, here's Sergeant Guy, your guy, coming in. You know, it's, it's, it's just like five tickets, five tickets, five tickets. And, it, and, and look at what happened to the... Uh, you know, the, uh, the morale state. Yeah, I mean, now you really hurt yourself now. I, I would say you sit back, you know, you got 16 minutes. Let the arty and long-distance shooting try to get you closer to the last stand. You know, spend five minutes on it, you know? Yeah, make it a little battle of attrition here. You might not I, get them I, all I the way, but just, just, you know, just, just, you know, you have the time. Use it. Yeah, keep keep it like you're you know like you could threaten point at any time. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You make it so they have to kind of keep some units near point and just hammer them with already long distance. Right. Even if you get this down another half morale state in, in in five seven minutes, why not? Yeah, um, earlier, um. I was in pubs earlier today, and somebody told me 14 minutes from taking losses wasn't enough to get the enemy to last stand, and I uh, beg to differ on that. Um, that's crazy. I mean, keep in mind, there's extra 20% morale state in the game mode we're playing right now. <laughs> yeah, but this was also with a five-second timer, though, so... Oh, that makes it even faster. You, you know, that makes... definitely yeah. feel a lot faster. Yeah, it's, it's, it's faster. It's definitely faster. So it's like, I'm, one of my point is, even with this, it's more than achievable. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Even with 10-second timer, 14 minutes is enough. 
CSA the is Union pushing Arty. out. This is interesting. So, now that I would not do. So it's it's Hood making I don't a push know out why. here. I don't know why you would do that. Um because again, you're to even with the twenty percent increase, the tickets on here for CSA really aren't that great. You're really at a disadvantage. No, on we've, tickets. yeah, we've seen it. You get into a charge, you're in trouble. <laughs> Even if you do really well, double check your reloads. It's feels go over right there. You go. Prepare to shoot and retreat. Prepare to shoot and retreat. See what he's thinking here, and maybe. Now I'm I'm not sure what the. He might be trying to ambush him. Yeah, he might be trying to ambush him and get him down to a uh, final push. And eat up the time. Oh, here's a guy coming up with. A distraction force? I don't know, it's an interesting uh, yeah, tactic. Because the rest of it's going another angle. Yeah, this mass chart I, I do not like. Charles Canister, they're out of they're out of shell oh. oh yeah, that that would be one of the reasons why you don't like it. Yep. Well and, and also they're gonna get pushed into final push and then they're gonna lose all their cohesion. And again, you had you know, even now they have thirteen minutes. Yeah, I, the biggest thing that I tell people about Nicodemus Hill, especially if you're Union, is don't... The thing is, people think they have to get things done quickly. Yeah, you're racing the clock, but the key to success in every time I've ever won this map, it's from using up as much of the clock as I could as the attacker. Use it up. It's there for a reason. You don't have to rush in. Once you start rushing in, you exactly what you said, you lose cohesion. And that's what's happening here. You got some guys rushing in, you got some guys pulling back to spawn for the yeah, game. Yeah, I mean, I mean, no. look at this. Yeah, like, maybe Knight's going to stop him now. Okay, Knight did stop him. He told him to go back, which was critical, but now a couple of Madness Artie shots will get him down to the final push. You don't even need infantry anymore for that. You just have Madness do that like he's doing right now. I should well, say Madness and Markham. Markham is also on the guns to, to give credit to the full as well union Artie's kind of been underwhelming this game um they really they they've had some decent shots but they really haven't been that effective no union Artie can really make this map it can really make it very difficult for the csa to hold that um that hill and really they haven't been challenged too much on it i would argue and say that csa Artie's had all the impact this game oh man Not to discredit anybody down there on, you know, Union Artie, but... No, no, everybody's doing their best. And again, we've seen some good shots as well, so, you know. But, uh, yeah, the Markham and Mattis team has done very well on CSA Artie. Why do I spawn next to artillery? Now, here you go. You have the entire CSA team besides one regiment back is. up on top of the hill again. Actually, two regiments. Oh. Uh, you have Parker and 123rd over here to guard the point. I'm still seeing some random guys move up and get shot out of line, which is, for me, frustrating. Yeah, especially when you're this close to uh, final push, and then you're going to only have three minutes to uh, win the game. Get the loads and everything. Be ready to roll out, ten. I mean, I guess if you're scouting, it's fine, but I, I don't, you know, you got binos. I don't know what you're scouting. Yeah, at this point, conserve. I think they're trying to allow the. Oh, okay. Oh, is Artillery it has some shots coming in now. Yeah, I saw that. I I watched it from the uh, the wrong side. I was watching the uh, CSA side, but yeah, it looks like they scattered Six New York and in uh, in eighty uh, third and one twenty third over there a bit. But again, yeah, just yeah, just just, three, just, ha just hang out for a little bit. Even now, I don't know why they're sending the charge? You're don't not a final push yet. Spread out, don't clump. Okay, they're going to make it another mass charge in the field again. Because here comes Hood, and there's that canister shot coming in from CSA. 42nd with a nice line here. They're going to be able to hold this. Oh, there's the final push. That, was, that volley paired with that maddest shot from artillery just stalled that Union attack in the field now. 42nd, I saw at least. 
10 to 12 bodies just drop. They could do it, though. They can get them on last stand right now. CSA uh, is so close. They, they like we will get them onto last stand here with these uh, the, this melee going on. I'd be surprised if they don't. If they don't, the CSA can consider themselves lucky here. Alright, that Union already starting to pick up now. They're starting to actually deal some damage. It's the last stand. You have a minute left. Yeah, I, 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 for the Union. I, I, I don't think so. I think it's the, the charge is now very strung out. And the, CS, the CSA's mass is just going to mass their fire. See, if you would have had time. Counter charge is an interesting Let's go, choice here. Boys. Let's go, one, two, three, counter charge. Mm. I suppose it might be the right one. I, I would I would have shot him out. But... I, think, I think it's trying to buy yourself some time. I think CSA's trying to buy them some extra seconds. Yeah, here. I think they got it. They'll be able to keep them off a point. I gotta say though, this was probably one of the most competitive Nikos I've ever seen. It was a very close. It was closer than I thought it would be. And we still had a ton of time left on the clock too, which you know, they, you know, the attack. There was plenty of time left on the attackers too, so it wasn't even like it was all the time was huge. Oh yeah, no, there was there was plenty of time. I'm not sure why they rushed that charge. Uh, they should have let the arty work a little bit more. Oh, you saw how effective those arty shots were. You know, you get two or three minutes of that. You know. Yeah, the union really had some solid shots there um, from arty. The end of that round. Yep. So the um, MWB has defeated the 10th Tennessee in the uh, Western Tennessee. Any uh, any final thoughts, Mr. Lightbird? Again, there were some things that that you and I saw differently, but overall, I think that was probably the most competitive Nico I've ever seen. Um, props to the CSA for the mutual support. Um, when they moved, they moved as a team. Uh, CSA made them pay for every mistake that they made. Um, that's what you have to do, and I'm surprised that it, they were able to pull it out with such a disadvantage in ticket. Um, but everything that you saw the Union do was just, it was spread out from the start. Um, so, if they would have stuck together, they probably could have pulled it out from the beginning, but, you know, you can't win them all. Nope, and uh, I imagine they could enjoy those casualties as well. A lot of damage on that token. Anyway, that's it for map one. We got one more, and this will be the 19th Indiana attacking the HL. So far, the undefeated.